We have a new event in Hello Kitty Island Adventure. This is the springtime celebration and it started today on March 2nd. The event will run all the way through April 13th, giving you plenty of time to collect all of the seasonal items. The first time you log in after the event has started, you'll have a short cutscene where Hello Kitty tells you that the springtime celebration has started and everybody talks about the things they love about spring. And you find out that flower petals have blown all over Seaside Resort and that you'll need to collect as many as you can and trade them at the event stand for adorable springtime items. We have a new daily login calendar this is only the part 1 calendar, which means there'll probably also be a part 2 and a finale calendar, so very likely the items that we don't see in the event stand or on this calendar will be in those two other daily login bonus calendars. So you'll be able to get 6 strawberry crates in total from completing this login bonus calendar. We also have pink dye and some other materials. On day 2, we have crafting plans, which is new for an event login bonus calendar. I think this is the first time we've seen crafting plans associated with an event. And on day two, we're going to get the Lotus Silk crafting plants. It looks like three lotus blossoms are going to allow you to make this new material. On day six, we have the male springtime kimono. This is the one that we can see in the picture on the left. I think this means that the female springtime kimono and the Sakura hair decoration will probably be either in the part two calendar or in the finale. And then on day seven, we have new crafting plans and these are for the male kimono. It looks like you'll be able to make this new kimono by using three fabric of some kind. And because this is a new item and we just got those lotus silk crafting plans. Based on the silhouette, it seems really likely that this is going to be three lotus silk to craft the kimono. Now because this is another male kimono, I'm assuming that the plans for a female kimono will probably come in a later calendar. And based on the trailer, it looks like this new craftable kimono will also be able to be dyed. So it looks like we can get a whole bunch of different colors. Similar to Dragon Pearls, each day around your island, you will be able to find seven petals somewhere in the main area of Seaside Resort. Resort. Unlike the dragon pearls, the petals are much smaller and they're not nearly as bright, so they kind of blend in and may be a little bit more difficult to find. The petals also seem to be showing up in places that are more difficult to find. So for instance, one of mine was hiding behind a null and you could not see it at all from most camera angles. Others have reported petals hiding behind trees and planters. So here are some of the places where we've been finding them. Hopefully that helps you find yours, but there should be seven all together on the island. In addition to those seven, you can also get four more petals by doing your daily quest. For each daily quest you do, you will get one additional petal, so you can get 11 all together. These petals serve as currency at the event stand, just like with many of our past events, so you can exchange them for springtime celebration furniture. The items we can get include the large springtime bridge for 25, the small springtime bridge for 25, the small springtime bush for 5, the Tory gate for 25, the flooring for 15, the floor cushion for 7, the standing lantern for 10, the picnic blanket for 10, the springtime pond for 15, the small sakura tree for 15, the sakura pond for 25, the sakura bonsai for 10, the stepping stone for 5, the stone pedestal for 7, and the wall for 15. And don't forget to bring Tuxedo Sam with you when shopping at the event stand since he has a chance of getting you duplicates with his negotiator ability. If you wanted to get one of every item, it's going to cost 209 petals. And if you get all 11 petals every day, it'll take you 19 days to get one of every item in the event stand. If you did not do your daily quests every day, but you did pick up all the petals on the ground so you only got 7 each day, it would take you 30 days to get one of every item. Now luckily we have six weeks to the event so if you gathered all your petals only every other day you should still be able to get one of everything. But don't forget we're gonna have those login bonus calendars. Part one is 10 days long but we don't know how long part two and the finale are and you'll need to be logging in during those days to get those bonus items. If we look at the springtime celebration collection we can see that the top three items are those two different springtime celebration kimono 
photos that we saw on the login bonus calendar in the image and the Sakura hair decoration. All the other items appear to be furniture that we can get at the event stand. Two of the items on the current login bonus calendar do not seem to appear on the springtime celebration. I think we're seeing these new crafting plans and potentially crafting these items showing up instead under the flowers and friendship collection. I think that's everything we know so far about the springtime celebration in Hello Kitty Island Adventure. It seems to be very similar to our past events where you collect the event currency around Seaside Resort and exchange it at the event stand for items. And then we have multiple login bonus calendars throughout the event. I think the biggest differences with this event are the event currency can be kind of hidden on the resort and a little bit more difficult to find. I'm sure as we get used to their normal hiding places, it'll be a little bit easier to collect. There's still a lot of currency to collect each day in order to unlock the items, but at least with the event being so long, you should have plenty of days to be able to do it. I think the other new big thing is seeing crafting plans on the login bonus calendar, something that I don't think we've seen before. And it's surprising that these crafting plans are not attached to the event collection, so you may not know that that's how you would get them if you were trying to go through your collections. So hopefully this helps you with the springtime celebration in Hello Kitty Island Adventure, new in update 1.5. Mary Meadow. If it did, consider giving the video a like. We also played day one of the event live on stream and that video is still on the channel. Subscribe for more Hello Kitty Island Adventure content. There are a ton of guides and live streams on the channel. Turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.